The Honor 70 is a thin and light mid-ranger that packs a beautiful 120Hg display and very good cameras, delivers smooth performance, and comes with a fast 66W charger. Starting at PS 479.99 in the UK, it's well worth considering, especially if you're looking for something a bit more unique and reminiscent of the good old Samsung Edge phones in addition to a fairly stock Android 12 experience. Honor 70 Design Colors Design-wise, the Honor 70 is quite the unusual phone that I'd wager people are either going to love or hate. But let's start with the side of this phone that's less extravagant and actually quite objectively beautiful. From the front, the Honor 70 gives out Samsung Galaxy Note mixed with Galaxy Edge vibes, as its display doesn't feature huge rounded corners, yet has slightly curved edges, leading into a very thin metallic looking side frame. On the bottom of the phone we have a speaker on the left, a USB Type-C charging port in the middle, and a SIM card slot on the right. Now, let's turn our attention to the phone's back. What sticks out the most will obviously be the likely unnecessarily huge raised circular camera modules, which hold three cameras and a flash, already a pretty bold design element, with Honor likely aiming to convey that this is, in fact, a camera phone, with that being its main focus. Honestly, it's a bit of a mess, just too much, and I can't imagine a lot of people will love this look, but thankfully, the other color variants of this phone are more focused and traditional. Speaking of which, let's talk about weight and feel in the hand. The Honor 70 weighs about 178 grams and definitely feels pretty thin and light. However, its back and frames do feel plasticky, and while the display feels glass-like, it might easily also be plastic. Now, that's not necessarily a negative, since plastic is lighter than glass or metal. So, again, we're getting a pretty light phone here, which some people value a lot. Plus, if you're someone who slaps a plastic case on their phone anyways, then how the phone feels doesn't really matter. The Honor 70 has a 6.67-inch OLED display, which is definitely one of the stronger elements of this phone. Its beautiful edge curves and the minimal bezels around it make it look almost edge-to-edge, -edge, at least from certain angles. Best of all, the display isn't fixed at 120Hz, draining the battery unnecessarily. Although you can fix it, by default, it's set to dynamic refresh rate, so it will go lower when appropriate. E.g., nothing's happening on screen, and if you wish to, you can set the display refresh rate to the more traditional 60Hz, which saves on power and might prolong the phone's battery life endurance between each charge. And while we're on the topic of the display, there's an embedded fingerprint scanner in it, which would be your most secure way to unlock the device. There's face recognition too, but since it only uses the selfie camera, it won't work well in different lighting conditions, nor is it generally considered secure. Honor 70 camera. On the back, the Honor 70 is packing a 54MP main camera, a 50MP ultra-wide, that doubles as a macro, and a 2MP depth camera. Here are the exact specs, followed by sample photos. In regards to that hole punch selfie camera, it's 32 megapixels, f2.4 aperture. It performs well enough in good lighting, delivering sharp images with good, realistic colors, although it tends to overexpose bright areas. It's worth noting that, as is the norm with Chinese phones, there's a skin smoothing selfie filter which is on by default. So if you get this phone, remember to turn that off for more true to life results. And for anyone who's wondering, nope, the storage is non-expandable, meaning you can't slot in a micro SD card. So choose wisely between the 128 GB and 256 GB options. Honestly, 128 GB is plenty enough for most people, even if they plan on downloading some big games. As for movies and music, we tend to exclusively stream them these days. So you likely shouldn't worry about them taking up any storage. Not that you can't comfortably download several seasons of your favorite show, many of your favorite movies, and still have plenty of storage even on the 128 GB Honor 70 variant. The Honor 70 is packing a 4800 mAh battery, which, considering how light and thin the phone is, is actually pretty impressive. It supports up to 66W supercharge speeds, and Honor was kind enough to include a 66W charger in the... Charging this phone is indeed very quick, with just about 20 minutes being enough to top it to 60% from zero. Like most modern phones, the Honor 70 unfortunately doesn't have dual speakers, but a single bottom firing one. If you're hoping that the earpiece also chimes in to help create a mild stereo effect, 
It does not. However, that single speaker is no slouch. It gets plenty loud and has good mids and highs, which can get a bit ear-piercing at high volumes, though. But honestly, compared to the competition in this price range, and even certain Samsung flagships, this is a very good speaker. The Honor 70 is a very good mid-range phone that performs well, has a beautiful, slightly curved display, and feels delightfully thin and light. Along with that, we get some very capable cameras and a fairly stock Android 12 experience with Google Play. Well, this is my observation with this particular model. Maybe you've experienced something different. So, it would be a pleasure you share yours in the comment section below for the rest of the viewers. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you a great day.